the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your grace towards us, your children. Thank you for your love that abounds towards us exceedingly. We bless your name forevermore. Thank you for giving us your kingdom that we can reign on this earth above all the wickedness of the enemy. And we can let our light so shine in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today we have, a, we have from our Rhapsody of Realities. Today's topic says, We have received the kingdom. We have received the kingdom. Now Luke 12 verse 32 says, Luke chapter 12 verse 32, it says, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It is your father's good pleasure to do what? To give you the kingdom. And the topic says, we have received the kingdom. So the first question I may want to ask is, what is this kingdom we are talking about? When we say we have received the kingdom, we should first understand that what the Lord Jesus has brought for us on this earth actually was the kingdom of God. He came and then what he preached was so clear that he brought God's kingdom to us. As you can see that from the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 14. Mark chapter 1 verse 14. I'll read it from the Passion Translation. It says, Later on, after John the baptizer was arrested, Jesus went back into the region of Galilee and preached the wonderful gospel of God's kingdom. So Jesus came and preached the wonderful gospel of what? God's kingdom. That tells us that what he brought to us is what? God's kingdom. And for him to accomplish that, that you and I can enter God's kingdom. Remember that he came as the son of man, as the son of God, right? He being the son of God came, came, um, came, came into this world, right? And became son of, son of man. So he had to put on the, the human nature, uh, the human flesh, so that he can make contact with, with, with people in the world. But let's not forget that he came from heaven. He came from heaven. So he coming from heaven brought us this kingdom on this earth. But for you and I to join this kingdom, there must be a protocol that must be fulfilled. Which means, Jesus here has brought this kingdom. He came from heaven. He said, I'm the bread that have come from heaven. So he coming from heaven gives us the opportunity. That he, brought, he brought the kingdom of God to us. He preached the gospel of the kingdom of God. But we couldn't enter this kingdom unless he was able to pay the price, which was what? To remove sin from the way. So he fulfilled it. For us to enter this kingdom, he had to pay the price for the remission of sin. So Jesus now went on the cross and then he was on the cross and he was crucified on the cross, right? And then he was buried and he resurrected. So by his resurrection, you and I now have entered the kingdom. You who have accepted Christ, because Jesus is risen, he has established that kingdom right here on this earth. You get that? So if you accept Jesus into your heart, if you accept the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ, if you accept that he, he, he died and rose, uh, and rose on the third day, that means he died for your sins, and now you are risen with him. Now you will be risen with him, is that what? We are now risen into a new newness of life. And now, that means what? We are risen to a kingdom. And that kingdom is what? The kingdom of God. So it says to us today, from the book of Luke, it says what? Fear not, little flocks, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure. When I just came from the father, right? It is your father's good pleasure to give to, to give you the kingdom. So God takes pleasure to give, to God give us what the kingdom. So we must understand that what we have received the kingdom of God. We have received the kingdom. This topic is so important for us to know that there, yes, we are in this world, but not of the world. You know, and it give us a consciousness that we are in this world whereby. 
things that, you know, our physical eyes can see certain things around us. But we should be aware of the unseen world, the invisible world that coexists with this physical world. We should be aware that our physical body makes contact with people in this world, but our spirit being makes contact with the God's kingdom realm. We have been born into God's kingdom realm. By, 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 um, how? Our spirit being have what? Entered God's kingdom realm. So in the spirit, we are existing as, as God's citizens. God's kingdom citizens, right? But this earthly realm, we, we are what? Coexisting with men in the world. So God has given us his kingdom. That's why I can tell you that in this earthly realm, you make contact with men in this world by how? It's called what? The human body. An human body content has what? The mind. So with your human body and your mind, you make contact with people in the world. Your mind allows to process the things that come from this world. And your body allows you to what? Make contact with men in this world. But don't also forget that we have what we call your soul. Your soul comprises of what? Your spirit. And then your, every, the, the way you process things in your spirit, your heart. So just the way the mind is for the body, the heart is for the spirit. Just the way you can call it, you can call the person um, and call it body. You can call it a spirit. You can call it a soul, right? So now you have to understand that what you are called. You are, you are living in that kingdom realm, that heavenly kingdom realm. Your spirit being lives there now. Your spirit being lives there now, and you process things from that heavenly kingdom realm in your heart. That's why you process things. That's why I see a man of God, a, 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 a child of God, who wants to work the miracle. Uh, for, for example, I've heard this from a great man of God. That was um, um, Brother Kenneth Hagen. How he was able to put faith to work. He says in his heart he believed, but in his mind, when the Lord asked him to heal that person that was sick, he said in his mind, he couldn't see how that could ha- he didn't see how that could happen. You see that? That means you are not called to use your mind. When the Lord is asked to do something, that was faith is of, of the spirit of the spirit. It's being processed in your heart, not in your mind. There are times that the Lord will ask you to do something because it comes from the heavenly kingdom realm. These are things that make you know that what you have been born into the heavenly kingdom realm now. That's why you can walk by faith. There are times the Lord will ask you to do something, and in your mind, you know that you can't even understand it. But in your spirit, it bears witness that this is from the Lord. You see that? That's because God makes contact with your spirit. And that information that comes into your spirit, what? It's being processed in your heart. Now you cannot go out and not set your mind on what the Spirit of God is saying and run with it. So the, God, God has, God has, God drives pleasures, gives us his kingdom. So I want us to understand that we are only living in this kingdom. It's not coming when you leave this earthly realm. Some people say things like, when they die, they go to heaven. No, what Jesus has brought to us is what? Heaven on earth. So we are currently living in heaven, but right here on earth. It's very simple to understand this way. Just like the way people who, are, who walk in darkness, for example, someone who claims to come from a marine kingdom, who walk in darkness, so they have to use for example, so we can really understand it. Of course, we do understand by the grace of God. Right? You understand that the person who comes from a marine kingdom, she or she understands that she has come from a kingdom. Right? Now, even though the person is making contact with men in the world, he or she knows that he has come from a kingdom. And thanks be to God that anyone that has come from that kingdom now can be what? Rescued from by, 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 in, the of, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ into the kingdom of his world, marvelous light. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. So if you are from that kingdom now, thanks be to God that today you can re- accept Jesus into your heart. Now he can come and rescue you. So what Jesus has done for us, he has come to rescue us from various kingdoms that men and women have joined in the realm of the Spirit. And brought us to that kingdom of his, of, 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 his, of his reign. So we have come into the kingdom of God. We have come into the kingdom of God. It has been given to us. And the Father derives pleasure giving us the kingdom. Hebrews 12 verse 28 tells us something similar to what we just read in our opening verse. It says, We are for we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. You see that? It says, we are for we receiving, which means you're not waiting for it to come. We have received the kingdom. The day we received Jesus, that was the day what? The day you began born again. That was the day you accepted Jesus into your heart. 
accepting Jesus into your heart or confessing Jesus with your mouth simply means what? Believing in that which he has done for you. And, and what the essence of that is that what? By you believing so, and by you, by you confessing Jesus and then believing in your heart that, 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 that God raised him from the dead, now you are now a partaker of all that he did. And that gives you, that, that's the entering, that's like the ticket you need to enter into this, this kingdom. So you are, you are not a partaker, you are not living in the present time, you are living in this kingdom, in, in God's kingdom realm. You are already a citizen of that, of that kingdom realm. That is why you must understand that all you need is in that kingdom realm. That is where you reign in abundance. Now, your abundance is in that kingdom realm. So every day as God's children, the reason for this topic is that what, we can be conscious of the earthly kingdom realm where we reign from. And that kingdom is what? Within us. Because your spirit being, where is your spirit being? Inside of you. And then remember that your spirit being is what makes contact with that heavenly kingdom realm. Your physical body makes contact with, the men, with this world. But now understand that because of the kingdom is inside of you, it empowers everything around you. So you are a man that lives from inside out. You see that? You are living for what? Inside out. The Bible says that God is spirit. And also, the Bible said that they that worship him, worship him what? In spirit and in truth. That means what? Whatever the Lord is doing here is spiritual. It's not based on this physical aspect of doing things. So men of the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit because they cannot see him with their physical eyes. But God is of, of the spirit. God is, God is spirit. So Jesus has made all things available for us. Your grace, all the grace, grace for healing, grace for abundance, grace for marriage, grace for childbearing, grace, to, you know, every grace you need, even to be the best cook, every grace you need has been given to us by the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that grace is what? In abundance. That's what the Bible said about His grace, grace is what? Sufficient towards us. It is found in this heavenly kingdom realm, in God's kingdom, which the Lord has given us. All that Jesus has accomplished is what is in God's kingdom. So because we are born into this kingdom, that's why we cannot draw from the kingdom and, and make this grace visible to all men to see in this physical realm. So men can see God's grace manifested when you live from the heavenly kingdom realm. You see that? So as a child of the living God, there's a consciousness we must carry. Just like a someone who probably is into the who is currently in the dark watch. And by grace, by the grace of God, Jesus will rescue that person. The person has to start boasting about how about the, the, the dark word, that if you touch him or her, he or she is able to do this kind of thing. Why? He or she is conscious about the dark word, right? But you have come from the kingdom of light. You see that? So you are, you are, you are of light. So you must understand that these ones are boasting of what is a lie, but you are a carrier of the truth. So you must walk with that consciousness that because I'm in this bus, just like you things like um, somebody that entered a, a vehicle, and that person was of, uh, is of, of the witchcraft, and then because he entered that vehicle, he man, you manipulated the vehicle that you have accidents. So if that person can be conscious of the kingdom where he's coming from, though he's in that vehicle with other people, having physical body, but his spirit is making contact with a different world. His spirit is making contact with the dark world. You see that? With the, with, with the, with the demonic realm. So he has, he has come from the demonic realm. But you have come from the heavenly kingdom realm. That's the difference. He has come from the realm of his, of his father, Satan. So he is able to make contact with that um, demonic realm and manipulate and cause accidents to that vehicle. So you, and as a child of the living God, who has come from the heavenly kingdom realm, who is the carrier of the truth, it tells that because in that vehicle, if you are conscious of who you are and are aware of the realm where you come from, that because in that vehicle, people's lives are preserved. It will be your mindset, not just in the vehicle that you enter, even in the business that you are involved with. And because I'm in this business, the way we do things, if that, man, if that guy can cause destruction because of the realm he has come from, you can bring what? Joy and flourishing to because of the realm you have come from. That means people will make contact with that heavenly kingdom realm because they carry out this realm every, everywhere you go. The man has come from the demonic realm and everywhere he goes, what, what happens? He brings about what? What his father is known for, which is what? Lies. The father of all lies. And what his father is known for is what? The father is what? Of wickedness. That is Satan. And his father is known for what? To kill, steal, and destroy. So the person can only know for destruction. But you now have come from the heavenly kingdom realm, and you're a carrier of this presence of God in you. That means when you make people make contact with you, they can make contact with what? With the love of God. Because God's love is found in this heavenly kingdom realm. He has given us his kingdom. So how things are done in, the, in, 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 in God's kingdom is what people make contact with you for. 
They cannot enjoy peace from God. They cannot enjoy joy in, in the Holy Ghost. Those the way saints are in heaven now, you are currently also a saint, but currently on this earth. So we are all coexisting with the saints in heaven. That's why you see uh, men of God say things like, I just had a meeting with Elijah. I just had a meeting with Moses. Why? Moses and Elijah, all of you are also living in what? In heavenly kingdom realm. You understand that? So because they are citizens of heavenly kingdom realm, they can have meetings with you because already you are already, already living in heavenly kingdom realm. Where they also are uh, uh, what? citizens of uh, as well. So we are all coexisting at, at the same time. That would be said about says what? We are co-seated with Christ in heavenly, in heavenly realm. We are co-seated with Christ. So we are one with Jesus Christ. We are one with him. That means our, our lives are hid with what? With Jesus and God. So we are one with him. We have come to this kingdom realm. Is our present, present our what? Reality. The King James almost puts, almost gives the impression that you are in the process of receiving the kingdom. You see that? It says, the King James almost gives the impression that what? You are in the process of receiving the kingdom. But when you study the verse in the original Greek rendering, that's not what it's saying. You got the kingdom already. You got it already. So that tells us that if you go anywhere or you have privilege to attend any service or even have yourself listen to a man of God online, and he or she is telling you that, ah, God will give you his kingdom. Know that the person is probably saying the truth, but it's a lesser truth. Because of maybe he lacked the understanding of what God has already done. But you must understand that what, even though King James tried to render that, that the kingdom, that, that, that um, render that what, we are in the process of receiving it. No, refuse to accept it. Because the truth is that what, he has given it to you already. Right? So by the time you look at the original Greek rendering, you find out the truth is that what, the kingdom, we have already got, got um, um, you, you realize that what? You got the kingdom already. You got the kingdom already. Now let's read further. The complete Jewish Bible makes it clearer. It says, Therefore, since we have received an unshakable kingdom, you see that? We have received what? An unshakable kingdom. Let us have grace. Let us have grace. Why? God's grace is in abundance in this heavenly kingdom realm. That's what Jesus has done for us. Let us have grace through which we may offer services, service, through which we may offer service that will please God with reverence and fear. We have received the kingdom that we, have, that we should live in it and express the life of the kingdom. That is the life of the kingdom. Sorry, let me take this. What is the life of the kingdom? How can we know the true Christian life that God expects us to live today? You see that? It's asking what? What is the life of the kingdom? How can we know the true Christian life that God expects us to live today? How can we know that? What truth is in, the, in God's kingdom realm? The word of God. God's word, right? And not also forget that Jesus' price he has paid on this earth. Jesus came as the son of man, right? And then he coming as the son of man, he has come to establish his kingdom on this earth. So he preached, heaven, he preached God's kingdom, right? But he has also established something, which is what? The kingdom of Christ on this earth. You see that? He has established his kingdom on this earth. So you must understand that what we we um, we get to know the truth by studying of the word. That way, the man of God is asking. He said, "What is the life of the kingdom? So how do you get knowledge about this kingdom? How how do you become aware of the, of this kingdom? How do you become aware about the things of this kingdom? In the same way, you receive Jesus. The, no, the no, knowledge about what Jesus has done for you was given to you, and now you accepted Him. So you receive faith, right?" So for you to know the things of this kingdom and have to know the true Christian life that God expects us to live today, we must get to the kingdom of God. We must get to the, to the word of God. We must get to see what, what God is saying, what he has said about his kingdom. And by reading about that, what happens? Now we cannot walk in these things. You see that? Because Jesus came as a son of man, as a son of God, he came as a son of man, and being a son of man, what happened? He established his kingdom on this earthly realm. 
You see that? By the, by the, by the, by the, by the, by the, by the finished work. Now he has established his kingdom on this earthly realm. So when we now get the word of God from the heavenly kingdom realm, we can leave it at this earthly realm as well. And establish it that Christ reigns everywhere. Because just the way sin had its own power over men, now grace has come in abundance over, over all. Just the way one man's disobedience caused sin to reign over this earth. Now, by one man's obedience, who, who is that one man? Jesus Christ's obedience. Grace has come to reign in abundance. Amen. You see that? Why is that grace has come to reign in abundance? That because of what? He has established his kingdom. Christ is, Christ's kingdom is that been established on this earth. But now, we are the ones that, that what? The church is church age. Unto the millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. That when he comes to what? Now take place, take charge of what he has done already. He has established the kingdom. Just like, for example, now I buy a property in a, the different country. The property is already mine. I bought the property, I want to move into the, the property. Right? It's already mine. And until I enter the property, but it's already mine. I may be far from the property, but it's already mine. So by the appointed day where I will move in with, into the property, right? And with my family, right? It's going to be so much fun, right? <laughs> so, you see that? So, the property is yours already. So this earth is given to our Lord Jesus Christ. The, the kingdom of, of, of Christ has been established on this earth. Now, on the millennial, millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ, that's when what? Physically now we can actually just move into this earth. That's the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see that? So now let's read further. The first thing to do is study the book of Acts. The epistles also gives us a lot of insights. Finally, the prophetic word of blessings to the Jews about the millennial reign of Christ shows us an amazing picture of what the life of the kingdom is. So when you look at these various books now, it reveals to you what, what this kingdom realm should look like. Because the apostles, they walk in this realm. You see how they heal the sick, they cast out devils. Because this kingdom realm we have come from, uh, where things are done in this kingdom realm, there is no corruption in God. And this sickness and all this nonsense are from where? Are corruption. That came because of one man's disobedience. Now, just the way sickness existed because of one man's disobedience, now grace of healing has come because of one, one man's what? obedience. And that grace is what? In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And that is of the, what? The heavenly kingdom realm. So when we come from that realm, what happens? Now God's grace is what? Multiplied. That means the healing grace of God is known to all men. Now sickness is cast out in Jesus' name. Even now as I'm talking to you, God's, God, is, God is delivering from that sickness. Because you are delivered already from that sickness. So receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead and check yourself or you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the kingdom I will preach. We have come from this realm. So we are carriers of this realm. How things are done from this realm. So we look at how the, the book of Acts, it shows you how the apostles took advantage of this realm when they have been born into. They couldn't do the things they did because of or unto what? Unto what? They received the Holy Spirit. So this way of God in you Christ in you is the hope of glory. Because Christ in you bears the witness of what? You are now a partaker of this heavenly kingdom realm. The apostles also give, give, the epistles also give us a lot of insights. Finally, the prophetic word of the blessings to the Jews about the millennial reign of Christ. So also, you want to understand what it means to have this kingdom realm, look at what has been said about the Lord Jesus Christ in his return. When he returns here to reign on this earth, for the 1,000 years we, have, we are aware of, right? That's going to be taking place anytime soon. At the end of this age, Jesus will be returning to establish his 1,000 reign on this earth. So you look at what is going to be happening in this 1,000 reign. How are you going to sit on the throne? Now, just like I said earlier, I own the house over there, but I've not moved into that house. Now, did I move into that house? Now, physically, I'm now there in that house. But because of I paid for the house, what happens? I own the house. Right? So Jesus has paid for everything. He has made a payment. He owns this earth. He has called principalities. Now, the day he comes on this earth to establish his millennial reign on this earth, for you to understand that how things will be done, it tells us what, in the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no sickness, there is nothing like cause sickness. Because at that time, he will judge all things. So all the works of the enemy will be stopped finally. But now, this works of the enemy seems to be existing on this earth, Right? Darkness is to be existing around this earth. That's because of what we that the light are the ones that what that what this is the opportunity to, to do what to shine. You can't own your touch light on that sun in the bright uh, you know, in the brightness of the day. If you own your touch light in, in the brightness of the day, it will not show anything. 
It doesn't even look like I own any touch light. But when you own your touch light in, dark, in, the, in a dark place, what happens? You cannot see the beauty of the touch light. So we are giving this opportunity now to showcase what, what it means for us to come from the heavenly kingdom realm. So if you will understand that, yes, when Jesus returns, nothing like sickness, disease, failure, and all those things will be existing in this world. It tells us what, now you are already partaker of this heavenly kingdom realm. We are given the opportunity to do what? To walk in these things even right now. So we're not waiting until when we really go to heaven. Because we're already, already what? Citizens of heaven. Say, I've come from heaven. Say, I, I hail from, from heaven. Hallelujah. There must be our consciousness everywhere. I hail from heaven. That's what is already given to us to live in and, exp- and experience now. It has been given to us to live in and do what? Experience now. Now, if you look at the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 20 to 21. Let's see something there. Luke 17, 20 to 21. Are we there? I read from the Amplified Version. It says, asked by the prophets, asked by the Pharisees, now, now the Pharisees are asking Jesus, right? Now, asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come. He replied to them by saying, the kingdom of God does not come with signs to be observed or with visible, visible display. Nor will people say, look, here it is, or see, it is, it is, it is there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. In your hearts and among you, surrendering you. So it's not like they're, they're looking for a sign and you no, know, all these uh, Pharisees are looking for what signs and looking for ways to observe it physically with their eyes, right? So they are eager to see it in the physical way, which is what the millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. So they are looking at that millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, when they will now know that yes, indeed, Jesus has you know is reigning on this earth. Right now, the Lord is now letting you understand that what the kingdom is what within you and surrendering you. Just the way when Jesus was about entering the, the uh, entering Jerusalem, do you know why they were throwing their their prayer showers on the ground and then letting the Lord, you know, come in into Jerusalem in a magnific- magnificent magnificent way? You know why? Their mind was their mind. Were, they said their mind that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They were looking at it from the point of now he's come to take up take up the seats. As the king in Jerusalem. That was what they are thinking. That he's going to take the seat now physically, you know, just the way David reigned, right? So they are looking at they are looking at Jesus was coming into Jerusalem now to come and take the seat as the king, as the Messiah. That physical, that millennial reign of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were thinking that was what Jesus was about doing. Not knowing that Jesus was to accomplish these things in the spirit for us. And now let the church display some kind of, have some fun on earth first. You know, until the, the, um, until when until when when the, the, the Lord do not put what all things under His feet. You see that that's when what they are look, what, what they are looking for that period when Jesus was moving to and was coming to Jerusalem. That it was you know the the Hosanna to the to, to the to the King of uh, the, um, to He that come in the name of, uh, name of the, um, the name of the Lord, name of the Lord right? Hosanna to He that, that have come in the name of the Lord, right? So they are saying these things because in their mind they are like, yeah, this is the Messiah. Of course, they've seen the good works of Jesus. So they, they could testify that yes, he has come to fight the Roman Empire, has come to you know take up war and then establish his kingdom physically on earth. But that's not the way Jesus did it now. He has come from a higher realm where there's a higher wisdom. You know, so they are working in their own wisdom. But that's not the way the law works. You see that? He says what? For behold, the kingdom of God is within you in your hearts. Is within you in your hearts. So that must be our consciousness from today. I'm a carrier of God's kingdom everywhere I go. That must be your consciousness every day you go, everywhere you go. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he has you, already given you the kingdom, right? So we live in it and experience it now. Anything less than this isn't full Christianity. And it isn't what? The life of the kingdom. Anything less than that. This is the reason we are raising and educating God's people on the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing things. That the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing what? Things. Thanks be to God for our absolute of realities. As we gather like this every day, online, offline, we are getting knowledge about what? The kingdom way of doing things. 
that the word of God is giving to us, our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities, so that we can gain to know the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing things. There is a kingdom way to think. How can you gain these things? Through the word of God. If you put your eyes on what you see only in the physical world, that means you may lose, you may, you may lose sight of where you have come from. But you have to give yourself to the word of God so you understand the word of God keeps you in that kingdom realm, just like communication. If I talk to you a lot of things about, about medicine, you find out that what you begin to work, you have a lot of knowledge in, in medicine, right? If I tell you, if I tell, tell you a lot you know, in the place of what? Um, about cooking. You have so much knowledge in that cooking. So you find, you find yourself in the, world, in the cooking world. If I tell you something about cooking now, you might even go and say, okay, let's go and buy some of these ingredients and, be, and start cooking the food, right? So any place that you, any, anywhere you give yourself, you give attention to, that's the, that's the realm you function in. In this earthly kingdom realm that is already corrupted, this earthly kingdom realm is already corrupted. So you must not just give yourself to, yes, I've received Jesus in my heart. Then you are getting all the information from the earthly kingdom realm. That means you are exposing yourself to corruption. So you must give yourself to the study of God's word so that you always remind yourself where you have come from. For even professionals, they do a refresher course. So you always keep on reminding us, ourselves where we have come from. And then we can also gain knowledge of where we have come from. So we can know all that Christ has done for us and take advantage of, uh, advantage of those things. You see that? So that we can learn what the kingdom life, the kingdom way, and think the kingdom way. Now that, 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 now that you are in the kingdom, you must learn to live by the principles of God's word. His word is our blueprint and roadmap on how to live the ever glorious, ooh, joyful, hallelujah, and transcendent life of the kingdom. Ever what? Glorious, joyful, and transcendent life of the kingdom. So we must get to the word of God on daily basis. Thanks be to God for our rhapsody of realities. Now you can also, on your, pers- on, your, on your own personal time of study, get to set the scriptures. Even after we have gathered like this, we have enjoyed ourselves and gotten strength for the day. On your own personal time of study, open the scriptures for yourself and see what the Lord is saying. Again, you know, study this, the, the rhapsody yourself personally and do the further studies as well and then do the one year Bible reading plan or two years Bible, Bible reading plan. All this will bless us all. Hallelujah. Yeah. To the glory of God. So it's so much joy to know that world. we have come from this kingdom. God has given us his heavenly kingdom realm. Hallelujah. Are we super excited? And if you're not born again, you're not yet part of um, a citizen of this heavenly kingdom realm. Now is the time for you to become what? One with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now is the time for you to what? Accept Jesus into your heart. By accepting him, what happens? Your spirit being well, you're going to encounter something today. And the power of God that is within you now will heal you of any sickness that you have in your body. And if you not just about the sickness that you have in your body, of course, you have already been healed in Jesus' name. Now, it's going to heal anything that's going to run your world, anything that is, of, that is contrary to the way that this heavenly kingdom realm functions. Whatever the enemy in, who, who is in this earthly kingdom realm has put against you, the word of God will, work, will prevail over those things and cause a change in Jesus' name. So go ahead and say this word with me. Say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I accept you to my heart this day. As my Lord and my Savior. I receive into my heart this day. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God. I welcome you to my heart. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I see the host of angels are, are, are rejoicing. Hallelujah. For you are born again. Welcome home. Welcome home, brother. Welcome home, sister. Congratulations. Now you have come into a newness of life. God's kingdom realm, you have entered it now. Hallelujah. And I declare for you from today, may you begin to enjoy the ease of doing things on this earthly realm. May you begin to function in the understanding of, of that comes from the, from, from the Lord God Almighty. And everything you're involved with, you receive wisdom now in Jesus' name. From today, I declare that. That spirit of poverty is cast out from you. That spirit of 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 of, of ignorance is cast out from you. That you be a man that is full of the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you walk majestically on this earth, enjoying your ever what glorious, joyful, and transcendent life in Jesus' name. Congratulations, welcome, brother, welcome, sister. I love you. Hallelujah. Now let's go, let's stand to our feet and maybe to declare words over our, our city. We have come to this earthly kingdom realm, right? 
So we're going to be declaring, Lord, your way, your, your, your ways of doing things in this heavenly kingdom reign will prevail in my city in Jesus' name. That men will arise everywhere, 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 everywhere. Righteousness will arise everywhere in the hearts of men. Where many encounter Jesus, that means all of us can live from the heavenly kingdom realm. We can all be, we live from the, from the kingdom of our Lord God Almighty. Rakato Shalabrande Kiska Brosh Kabradia. Yes, God's kingdom is established in the hearts of many. Christ reigns in the hearts of many. Oh, the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ reigns in the hearts of many. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Everywhere, King of glory. I see the glory of God. Yes, Lord, we will worship you. I see the glory of God. For many have come to the kingdom of God. They have come in their great numbers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are we excited? God has given us this whole word. The church owns the word. Because Christ's kingdom realm has been established on this earth. When a person has bought a house that is in that country and he has sent you to, to go and represent him in that house, you can go with the consciousness, with the conviction that the, the, the owner has sent you, right? And we have been sent by the Lord Jesus Christ to establish his will on this earth. Those are, I can send the, somebody else to go to that house and establish my will in that house. So we're going to be declaring words. As we are the owners of this of this house, but we are partakers of this divine nation in our Lord Jesus Christ. We are declaring words, Lord. Every every city, every nation, indeed, you accept the gospel. We come against every every power of darkness that tries to hinder the spread of the gospel. We take hold of our house. We take hold of our house. Just the way your body belongs to you, and you can reject evil over your body. You can reject sickness over your body. Declare for those nations has been given to you as well. Declare that no evil can reign in this nation. Only Christ reigns. This nation, only Christ raised in my body. Now, only Christ raised in this nation. Maro Sharadia, this Cabrode, this Cabradiba, for it has been given to me. Oh, Paca Taraba Sharta, Esh has been given to you. Oh, the minute it has been given to you. Marabo Sharabanda, for you are one with the Lord Jesus Christ. You are son of the living God. You are one with the Lord Jesus Christ. You have the kingdom of God. Rako Sharabrande Makush Cabradiba. We silence the voice of the enemy. We silence the voice of the enemy. We declare that Christ reigns in these nations. We proclaim the gospel everywhere. Yes, it's prevailing everywhere. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallowed be the name of the Lord, who's on in the highest. Yes, the church of God arise everywhere. Lord, we are moving our great numbers. We are spreading for the gospel everywhere. We are entering every city, every country, every nation. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You have established your kingdom everywhere. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for your kingdom is prevailing everywhere. The word of God is prevailing mightily. Oh, unstoppable. Ooh, I see the glory invading every nation. I see the glory at part of the, of the spirit of God upon all nations. And Christ is glorified. Oh, Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to my Lord, my God. Oh, thank you, King of glory. Hallelujah. 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 Christ is glorified. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me pray. Righteous Father, I thank you for not only bringing me into the kingdom, but for also giving me the kingdom. Hallelujah. He has done, no, he didn't just bring us into the kingdom. He has, he has also given us the kingdom. We're going to be thanking the Father. Thank you, righteous Father. Oh, Parabashata, for giving me the kingdom. Rako Sharabranda, glorify our Lord, in, uh, our Lord God Almighty. Thank you for saving your soul in His Son, Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I'm one with my God. Oh, 
Redos Kida Branema Sunte. Thank you for this word. Thank you for your word, O Lord, which educates and enlightens me on, 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 on the kingdom life. Thank you for your word, O Lord, for your word that binds the men and are binding your words. Oh, hallelujah. Rakataraba Shata. Yes, the word of God educates and enlightens you on the on the kingdom life and the kingdom way of doing things. You are a man that walk by the kingdom way. You will think the kingdom thoughts. Rako Sharabanda. You have the mind of Christ. Oh, Thank you, King of glory. Hallelujah. I live the ever glorious, ever joyful, ever transcendent life of the kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Parabashata. Declare that for yourself. Declare your part. You live the ever joyful, the ever glorious, and transcendent life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Marabosha of the kingdom of God. Marakatoshka Bradiba. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Marakatalabashandi Kiska Bradoshka. Yes, Lord, I give you praise. In everything that I'm involved with, O Lord. In everything that I do, Lord Jesus Christ. I see the kingdom of God being prevailing. Oh, Parabosha. The way of the, of the kingdom being prevailing in everything that I do. Marakatalabashata. For I have come from the kingdom. We are ever glorious, ever prosperous. Everything that we do, we are full of wealth. We are full of health. Marakadeshka. We are glowing with, in health. Marakoshka Rabanda. Thank you, King of Glory. Marakarabashanda Kiska Bradoshka. Thank you for your word. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Rado Sharabranda Makushka Bradiba. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He has given the kingdom. Now go for this day and reign in Jesus' name. Take hold of all that he has given you this day. I declare for you, as you step into this beautiful day, now that you have, have done so, I declare, whatever you lay your hands upon, will speak of the heavenly kingdom where you have come from. Yes, we, mag- we did what? Magnif- magnify the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That men will see the good works that God is going to do today through you and glorify our Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, surely, surely God's goodness and mercy follows us. All the days of our lives are going to dwell in the house of the living God forever and ever. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit indeed abounds with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Do have the best of all. Hallelujah.